you have a friend that says, hey, why don't you look at this MMA? UFC is, is just starting, but it's not the UFC that people would be familiar with now. It was more tournament style. Um, tournament style, one winner, and no weight classes. An acquaintance, Chris Dwyer, was a, a, a fighter. And he goes, hey, if you want to fight yourself, we've been training for a little while, I'll get you a fight. I said, yeah, give me a fight up there. So my first fight was in 1997, I think, for $100. And I thought I was doing good. I got paid $100 to beat somebody up. I mean, <laughs> life's good. Was it easy for you? Yeah, it was, uh, it was easy because I, I, everybody was a striker. You know, that everybody thought taekwondo or karate or, was the thing to do. And if they're remotely close enough to hit me, I'm way too close to take them down. So I took everybody down and just beat them up on the ground. That's the wrestling. Yeah. That's the wrestling overcoming yeah. the striking. Correct. So, Which is an age-old battle, wrestler versus striker. Okay. So after you win that first fight, does it dawn on you that, hey, this can be my career? No. This can be? No. You no. just no. took 100 bucks and took bucks, got on your motorcycle fun. and left. <laughs> None of that $100 went in my pocket because I told everybody, hey, I'm getting $100. So wherever we go afterwards, whether it's food or beer, my hundred dollars is first. So so you jump in the ring, you win a hundred bucks, and we go have boom, fun with it. It's we go have fun. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, but it, but it's competition. Yeah, and, and in your book, you refer to it as maybe this is a good word, hobby. It, total hobby. It's a it's a it's a outlet for my competition. UFC at the time seemed like it was one of those. Hey, have you seen this tape? You know, back in the day, it wasn't DVDs. It was you seen this tape of this fight it was it was kind of underground right very, very underground very underground they would have been on pay-per-view back then but pay-per-view wasn't a big thing in the early 90s you know you um so uh there was i can remember going in back when there was uh video marts you know i remember going in there passing a, a, a vhs that had ufc on it and that's where you saw it out and i can remember being around this time Maybe I'd had a fight and maybe I hadn't. We picked up a UFC. The main event was Hoist Gracie versus Dan Severn. And Dan Severn goes through all these other people and he's the big wrestler and he's throwing people left and right and we're like, this wrestler's gonna kill this Brazilian. And it gets to the last fight and Hoist walks out and he's only about 170 pounds Hoist or has sat in that chair. Has he really? Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that. Go ahead. So, and Mark and I... and. I haven't fought a lick professionally. Mark and I say to each other, we can take that guy. Well, Hoist is not a physically yep. imposing guy. Yes. And you're swinging these axes that have, I mean, you're, oh. you're, you're physically. <laughs> I'm, I'm you're, at that point, I, I had a body on me. Okay, so I'm, I'm fascinated. You put this tape in and does it, I, I know you say, I, we can take this can guy. Take that guy. But are you like, in awe, like a, a kid seeing his first baseball game or a kid seeing his first NBA game, or are you like, oh my God? I never thought of it, you're, you're right. We, we were just, we were like, this, this is amazing, you know? Because Dan, when we saw that very first fighting tape, Dan Severn's a wrestler. That's what my brother and I were. We were really related to him because that, that's who we were. And Dan ended up losing that fight, but because um, of a, a triangle choke, but we were just amazed that that wrestler went in there and just tore everybody up. But jiu-jitsu, you've got to have jiu-jitsu in your, in your toolbox. When I walk into the cage, I always tell, say, I carry a big toolbox. In my toolbox is my, my ring awareness, my cornerman, my striking, my submissions, my wrestling, uh, the, everything. Every tool that I bring in there that could help me in a fight is in my toolbox. And I always thought I brought a big toolbox in there. But at some point, early you realize your toolbox probably wasn't big enough. I just, my toolbox at that time was a briefcase with wrestling in it. So uh, yeah, I needed to expand my vocabulary and my discipline.